Most football is played no matter the weather, but let's be honest here, who really likes to play when it's bloody cold outside? Well, after today, you don't have to worry about that anymore because I'm gonna give you some tips on how to stay nice and warm during the winter. Because like a clever man once said, there is no such thing as bad weather, only unsuitable clothing. But first things first, cause cold feet absolutely suck when you're playing football. And unfortunately, you can't just go full road cycling mode and just cover your feet in tinfoil to keep them warm. Unless of course you're really, really, really desperate. Because your feet are moving inside of your boots, the tinfoil is gonna break and leave a big mess. No, instead I'd probably take a look at some of the Puma winterized boots here that have an inner liner called Thinsulate. It's an insulating material that uses your body heat to keep your feet warm. And it actually works exactly as advertised and I'm really, really impressed using these in the cold. However, if you don't have 200 euros lying around casually dedicated to a pair of winterized football boots, well, you can also try and use an extra pair of thin socks on top of your normal socks like these Storelli Speed Grip socks that once again trap body heat and keep your feet relatively warm. I would, however, stay away from using thicker socks because your boots might end up feeling too tight and uncomfortable and also your touch may feel a little bit more chunky. But the first thing I do when it's cold outside is to slap on some base layer. And so should you, because base layer is your new best friend. But what I'm typically looking for here is a rather thick plush shirt that has a good amount of insulation on the inside and also is made with some quick drying materials. And for that, one of the Under Armour cold gear shirts with this mock collar to keep your neck warm or the Nike Pro Therma shirts with an even higher mock collar, well, they're absolutely perfect and they keep you brilliantly warm. And if you are to buy only one thing this winter to combat the cold, one of these should be that thing. Now you can, of course, also take a look at rocking some tights. And I know, it looks really stupid, but trust me when I say it's worth it, because it keeps you junk warm and that's really nice. But if it gets really gnarly outside and base layer alone won't quite cut it, getting a long sleeve top is also one of the major keys when playing football in the winter. And this year, I've basically sworn by one of these three shirts. The first is the Nike Strike Thermo Shield at 75 euros, which is perfect both when it's cold but also wet outside because it's both wind and waterproof and really, really nice. You can also use one of my personal favorites of all time when playing in the winter, the Adidas Ultimate Warm. And as the name suggests, it is really ultimately warm. It has this amazing high cut color to really keep your neck warm. It's wind and waterproof and just feels nice and fussy and warm, but it's also 100 euros. And if that is a little too much for you, this Nike Academy padded drill top is also brilliant at just 50 euros. And to be honest, I'd happily rock either of them if it's freezing outside. Now I know some of you lot might call me a bit of a chicken, but I always make sure to bring some playing gloves when it's remotely cold outside because I hate playing football with cold fingers. And here, I like to use either the Nike Academy Hyper Warm at 25 euros, the Adidas Tango gloves at 30 euros, or even the Unisport gloves at 10 euros, with the Hyper Warm probably being my daily driver. Of course, having a hat or a beanie is always nice to keep your head warm. And then, of course, we have the infamous Nike Snud. Now, personally, I found out that I prefer to have my mouth free when I play but on the other hand, it just looks really cool. And when it gets seriously cold and windy out there, it's just nice to have. Now for the last point here, it would have been really cool if I'd had some sort of amazing do-it-yourself hack, like putting heat gel pads in your shirts or your gloves or your boots. But to be honest, that would be really inconvenient because you move all the time in football. So instead, I brought something as lame 
as gel, heat gel. And I know it's probably not the most macho thing to get some gel on your fingers and rub it into your muscles before you go and play, but it, it straight up works. And if you like a little help in keeping your muscles and your overall body warm when it's really cold outside, this is the way to do it. And any sort of heat gel will do the job. And it smells really nice too. So go buy one and thank me later. Now, of course, I realize that getting all of this stuff might be a little bit expensive, but now at least you know what I'm personally looking for to stay warm over the winter. And then you can kind of pick and choose depending on what you feel you need the most. But do you have other tips in terms of staying warm in the frosty cold? Well, as always, you should let us know in the comment section right down below. And then you can go and cop everything you saw on the list from unisportstore.com right over there. And then before you move on to the playlist over there to learn some really wicked football skills, make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notifications on to not miss a single of our upcoming videos. And with that, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.